of my time in Paris, full of delicious pastries, sunsets, the French national holiday, museums, and gardens. We got a true taste of the local life as we walked around the city for hours, peeking into flea markets and vintage stores, boulangeries, and cafes. Overall, Paris was a lovely time and still remains one of my favorite cities. I hope you enjoy. Looking forward to an escape from the city and introduction to the countryside, Sasha and I boarded the train from Paris to Giverny. We watched as the landscape changed from the cluster of buildings to rolling green grasses and farmlands. She's so sick of me because I have so much energy because we had like a real coffee today. And I'm going crazy. I lost my ability to take Instagram pictures. It's kind of. I don't know if you ever had one. No, I think I did that. Song is so good. We have to walk over an hour to Monet's house because we missed the bus, but at least we get to explore. Missing the bus turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Walking to Monet's house, although a long walk, allowed us to explore and experience the village. This turned into one of our favorite parts of the trip. We just had the funniest little vintage shopping experience. The woman was like so sure about our sizing, which was she was accurate too, but she was like to Sasha, that is way too small. That is not going to fit you. You can try, but it's not going to fit you. And she was right. We are walking through the French countryside and I have to say, although it's very hot and we are not wearing the appropriate clothing to be walking in this weather, it's gorgeous. Monet's house and garden were where he painted his famous water lily paintings. The gardens themselves were a bit underwhelming. Though beautiful, Monet somehow accentuated their beauty in his paintings, which I guess pays homage to Monet's talent. We then toured his house, which was filled with brightly painted rooms and quaint wallpapers of all sorts. Working up an appetite after our wanderings, we stopped to eat at a restaurant where a waiter enthusiastically had us try a sweet cocktail made with raspberries. We ordered mussels marinated in a white wine sauce paired with warm, crunchy baguette. This meal was so good. We're on the bus. We are going back to the train station. I'm gonna try to catch an earlier train and then head back home. We then went back to the apartment where we met up with Emma, her boyfriend, and her family and had drinks and pizza celebrating our last night together. Good. <laughs> Figuring out our Air and B sitch. This one. The apartment is on the first and last floor of building A, right door. <laughs> first and last floor. Okay, you know the broom they said we would find. <laughs> AC, finally. Cute place, little tour, not bad. And this is the bedroom. By the time we figured out our Airbnb situation, it was lunchtime, so we went down the street and got brunch, coffees, orange juice, and avocado toast. Breakfast with ambiance. They stopped her like when I filmed. <laughs> It's so funny. We've been having such, like the French are so, they tell you what you're gonna feel. And I think it's hilarious because we walk into this thing and they were like, okay, you can choose anywhere you wanna sit. And we were like, okay, sit outside because it's like a thousand degrees in there. And they were like, you don't wanna sit outside. They have construction, you're gonna get really annoyed after two seconds. <laughs> They're not wrong, but also I was saying that I think they primed us to be annoyed. We then made our way towards the Latin Quarter, stopping at our favorite park where we sat for a bit, journaling and reading. 
we are so tired like we can't do anything also the weather today is like cloudy i think the coffee we had made me more tired i'm kind of ready to depart just because i feel like we've seen a lot and everything that we can and now that we're just sitting here doing nothing i feel guilty about not seeing the city when it's like oh my god you're in paris like you should be seeing things but we already saw everything you know what i'm saying we went to the museums we did this we did that and i'm just like i'm ready to move on After sitting a bit, we continued walking, stopping for crepes along the way. A bit later, we came across a boulangerie with a sign claiming that they had the best croissants in the world. We decided to try for ourselves, and the sign did not lie. It truly was the best croissant I've ever eaten. We took our pastries and sat on some stairs, eating the croissant and baguette we got. We finally dragged ourselves out. Today has been kind of awful. We don't know what to do like, anymore. I think we were so tired that that day was just a struggle. So we went to sleep early that night and the next day was much better. Good morning. I know I look beautiful right now. We got this delicious French delicacy. And we also got Nespresso. We basically are cheating the system because we got Nespresso capsules at the grocery store. One pack of 10 is literally four euros for 10 coffees versus paying four euros per coffee. Today we're going to the Louis Vuitton Museum and then we're gonna watch the fireworks fit today because I have no more clothes. I have to do my laundry. This is it. Not too bad. It's gonna be hot today though, so hopefully we don't die. We headed off to the Louis Vuitton Foundation, which led us to a beautiful area with gardens and lots of nature. That day was also Bastille Day, the national day in France, so flying overhead during our walk were army helicopters and fighter jets. After the museum, we got lunch and got, and I'm not kidding, the best tacos I've ever eaten in my life. And this was shocking, considering this place was a chain of some sorts. But they were so incredible, Sasha and I couldn't stop raving about them. We then continued walking around the area, passing by a flea market, and eventually finding a park. This is my most favorite area of Paris by far. I think it's the Cezia. Clean and quiet. There's a park. I love it. Later in the evening, we got Thai food for dinner. We then made our way to meet up with Emma and her boyfriend at a bar before going to watch the National Day fireworks.
woke up to raining clouds, a phenomenon that we forgot even existed after being gifted with such pleasant weather. We made our way to a boulangerie near our apartment where we bought fresh croissants and baguettes. When the rain ceased, we walked towards the Luxembourg Gardens, sidetracked by a market on the street. As we sat in the gardens, the sun came out and we lied on a bench, taking in its rays. absolutely dead so we went to a gelato place to get an affogato espresso with ice cream okay you kind of missed a lot which is not your fault but mine since i am in charge of the camera you would think i would keep you updated but i will update you so we have baguette at home and so we bought some fruit sasha finally got her dream purchase right here a box of beautiful strawberries got some nectarines it smells so fresh and good. And lastly, we got a tomato, so we're gonna make a little sandwich. Wait, I'm gonna try the strawberries, like glistening. Again, we made our way to our absolute favorite garden where we sat and read. where we got a delicious drink with gyro. This place was casual yet classy. We knew we wanted to end our last day in Paris watching the Eiffel Tower sparkle. And what better place to do so than in the quiet of our favorite park, away from any tourists. Here we sat for over an hour waiting for the sun to set so the Eiffel Tower would shine its lights. So ends our trip to Paris. Tomorrow we have until one. I hope you all enjoy this adventure.